What are those sweet sounds I'm hearing? And let's add custom sounds to Minecraft. New topics added to the Forge and Fabric courses, such as tameable and writable entities, projectiles, throwable projectiles, and boats, as well as first steps to biomes and dimensions. Courses linked in the description below. Oh, 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 right. We found ourselves back in the challenge more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom sounds to Minecraft, including a custom sound group that's going to be basically replacing these sounds when you have a custom block. So for this, in the tutorial mod package, we're going to right-click new package called sound, and inside of there, we'll make a new Java class called the mod sounds class. This is where we will register all of our sounds. First of all, we're going to make a public static void register sounds method over here with tutorialmod.logger.info registering sounds for tutorialmod.modid and let's immediately call this in the tutorial mod class over here. This is going to be the mod sounds.register sounds. There you go. And then we need another helper method. That's going to be a private static sound event. Very important sound event, not events. And this is the register sound event class over here with a string name parameter. And this is first of all going to have an identifier called ID. This is going to be equal to a new identifier, tutorialmod.mod ID passing in the name. And then we're going to return registry from net Minecraft reg registry. Very important, not Java RMI registry. Incredibly important that we choose the correct one. Dot register, registries dot sound event, passing in the ID, and then a sound event dot of and then passing in the ID again. Awesome, and that is going to register our sound events. We're going to make a couple of different sound events. The first one is going to be the public static final sound event called metal underscore detector underscore found underscore or. So this is going to be called when the metal detector founds a, finds an or, right? Finds a valuable. It's going to call register sound event and then passing in metal underscore detector underscore found underscore or the name here is of course quite important we can duplicate this once and we're going to make a sound block break the sound that is going to be heard when you break the sound block of course changing the name here as well sound underscore block underscore break and then we can duplicate this four more times because then we're going to have the sound block step and the sound block, what is the other one? Place over here. And then we have the sound block hit. And lastly, the sound block fall. Make sure to always change the names here as well. Otherwise, they, of course, will not probably work, right? You, you can't have the same name over here. It's going to be place. This is going to be the hit. And then lastly, the fall. That's pretty awesome. So we now have the five different sound events right here and the singular sound event right here. For the sound events for a block, we wanted to group them together in something that's called a block sound group. So this is going to be a public static final block sound group right here called sound block sounds. And this is going to be equal to a new block, block sound group. The first parameter is a float and the second parameter as well. You can see this is the volume and the pitch. And then we basically just go down the list. So this is mod sounds dot sound block break and then mod sounds dot the step sound that's correct and then mod sounds dot place this is correct as well mod sounds dot hit and then lastly mod sounds dot fall you can also double check this if we middle mouse button click on the block sound group and you can see the first one is the break and then we got the step place hit and fall sounds so there you go this is the block sound group we're going to need this to actually sort of select these particular sounds for our block but the question is where are our sounds, right? We haven't added the sounds yet. This is exactly right, because those are added resources, assets, tutorial mode, or your mod ID. And we're going to right click and make a new directory called sounds. Very important, written correctly like this. And these are going to be the sounds. I'm going to copy them over. Those are, of course, available to you in the description below for downloading. You can see the names over here, in this case, actually match the names right here. But that doesn't have to be the case, because there's another very weird thing for the sounds. And that is in the assets, tutorial mode, or your mod ID folder. You're going to right click and make a new file called sounds.json. And these will actually refer from the sound event that we've created here to the sound files that we've added right here. This is, it's a, kind of strange, but don't worry, we're going to get through this. I'm going to add one of them manually and then the rest I'm going to copy over all of the code as well as the JSON file here is all linked in the description below as well. This is going to be the metal underscore detector underscore found underscore or subtitle. We're going to have a subtitle over here. This is going to be sounds.tutorialmod.metal underscore detector underscore found underscore or. Quite a mouthful, but there you go. And then we're also going to have a sounds list here in this case. And this is just going to be tutorialmod colon metal underscore detector underscore found underscore or. What, so what is this craziness? The name right here, right? This name, the metal detector 
the metal detector found right here, this has to match this name right here. So those two names have to match because this basically is the sound event. Then we get a subtitle with basically this particular string being a thing that we can add into the lang file, right? So we can do this and then we can say, for example, this is going to be the metal detector jingle, so something like that, right? For example, and this would then be displayed if you have subtitles on and this particular sound event is fired. And then here we have a sounds list, basically meaning you can also add a multiple sounds, right? We can add another sound if we had it and then it would basically be played on random, right? One of those sounds would be played. In this case, we just have one sound and this sound here looks for a metal detector found or file, an OGG file to be exact, in the tutorial mod sounds folder right here. Please also make sure that all of your different files, if you have custom ones, that they are proper OGGs. You can't just take an MP3 and rename it to OGG. That does not work. You have to properly convert it and also make sure that all of them are in mono. If they're in stereo, then that leads to all sorts of issues like the sound might be heard on the entire server. So do keep that in mind. Oh yeah, that is the general idea. This name is the sound event, while this name is the name of the OGG file in our sounds folder. But the rest, as I said, I'm just, I will just be copying this over and you can see Pretty much this is all the same, right? Sound block break. And then here, this is sound block break. Fair enough. And then here we have the subtitle. And then here we have the name of the OGG file, which is sound block break, sound block break. That's all that there's to it. And that's pretty much the idea of this. But let's first of all add it to the block because that is incredibly easy, actually. So we want to go to the sound block. And then just on the fabric block settings, we just want to call sounds and then pass in mod sounds dot sound block sounds. And that's it. Now our sound block is going to have the sounds that we've defined right here as the breaking, stepping, placing, hitting, and falling sound. Absolutely awesome. Adding this to the metal detector right click is a little more complicated, but also not the craziest. So when we find a variable, right, this is where we want to play the sound and we want to say context.getWorld.play sound. And there's a lot of different ways that we can do this. As you can see, we're going to first of all put in a null because this is called except, basically meaning that if you pass in a player entity right there, then everyone except for that player is going to hear the sound, which is of course not something we want. We then can pass in the position clicked. We can then say mod sounds dot metal detector found or sound category dot blocks and then a one and a one for the volume and the pitch. You can of course also change this. A lot of Minecraft does things with the pitch and the volume, basically randomizing it a little bit so that it doesn't always sound the same same way. In this case, we're going to Omit that, but that could also be a thing that you could do. Yeah, and that, that is actually everything that we need to do. So we can now go into the game and hear if it works. All right, fans, let's back in Minecraft and let's just try the metal detector. There we go. And let's actually, let's just increase the sound over here just a little bit. There we go. So every time I find something, we hear the new sound. And if we look at the sound block or <laughs> we listen to the sound block. This is a different sound. If I break it, absolutely awesome if I step on it. That sounds different, and if I go to survival mode and I start hitting it, this is also a different sound, and then when it comes to the fall sound, sometimes this is a little weird because it should be only in survival mode. It is sort of blocked by the by the sound when you sort of break your leg when you fall down, but yeah, that is basically going to be custom sounds added to Minecraft. And that's it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll continue with sounds by adding a custom music disc. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.